It's Randolph in at the center, locking down the middle. And fans and support. And now that's what these people came to see, just punishing the rim. Boy, that was tremendous. That one will be worth some points in the dunk contest. Now here's Curry. There's the dish to Griffin. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Not much in the way of defense being played here early on. Well, you know how it works. I mean, both teams will be conserving their energy at the defensive end until later on. That's typically how this thing unfolds. And he gets it to go. And he's been a gem this year. I mean, there have been so many highlights for him all over the first half of this season. And I've got a feeling, Greg, he's just getting warmed up. I think he'll be even better after the All-Star break. And Westbrook, here we go. And the shot is good. And this game literally has been wide open. As wide open as it gets. <laughs> yeah, both teams completely neglecting their defensive duties. Now here's LeBron, the 10-footer. And he gets it again. Shot good from B. B's got nine points. Lights out here right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. It's Curry with the drive. Pass to Westbrook. Back to Curry. It's all in by the East All-Stars. The defense there got away with a major lapse. No one near James as he lets it go. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. That's in and out to Doris Burke who caught up with head coach Billy Donovan. Doris? If Coach had any butterflies in his stomach about coaching the All-Stars, he didn't let any of it come out. He said it was for the fans, and even though he's in charge of the best players in the NBA, his only coaching advice was to go out and have fun. Guys? Thanks, Doris. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Curry. Westbrook with a wide-open look. And a great assist by Curry as that
one goes in. Well, the All-Star Game D is in full effect. They typically clamp it down in the second half. It's stolen by Davis. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball and stolen by LeBron. Bosch passes to B. For the three. And James gets it to go. LeBron's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Westbrook dishes to Curry. That's tipped. Outside, Davis. Griffin kicks to Randolph. Picked by Griffin. And here's Westbrook from the arc. They get it back. Davis, the pass to Griffin. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And as usual, neither team really grinding too hard at the defensive end. And I think that's okay in this event. I mean, I say the more highlights, the best. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assist. The shot by Curry, no good. Dishes it to James. Here's B, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Complete domination. What a game for B. He's already got nine points and one steal as well. He's just been everywhere. He's got his hand in everything going on out there. And the first one drops. A big group substitution here for the East. Vucevic checked in for Bosch. Monroe comes in for Pau Gasol. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's DeRozan in for Irving. He hits both from the strike. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And Lillard kicks to Aldridge. Harden outside with some art, and he gets it to go. Harden's got his first basket of the night. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Pass to B. He kicks it to Batum. Five to shoot. B drills the elbow jumper. B's got 13. Clearly, they've been the hotter team here in the first half. Well, they've been grit and grind, working for those high percentage shots, and quite honestly, it's paid off for them. Now, here's Lillard. Connects from three point range. Lillard's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. 56 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And so here are the West Allstones. They trail by nine points. Harden draws the double. Aldridge inside, covered by Monroe, and it's Aldridge missing. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Here's DeRozan. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively you have to take something away. And Damian Lillard with Damian the bucket Lillard on the assist Lillard. by Howard. Lillard's got five now. It's like everybody is in a rhythm right now. Incredible stuff here early on. Both teams playing downhill. You know, coaches say that all the time. You want to play downhill. Well, at some point, you think somebody's got to cool off in this one, right? He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. Here's B. Oh, and he just knocked down the puzzle, Peter. Nice shot there without a second to spare. You know, as a defending team in that situation, it really irks you to give up a shot like that to close out the quarter. You know, oftentimes those end of quarter points can be the difference in a great event unfolding. One quarter of basketball already played and welcome back everyone to this year's coverage.
of the NBA All-Star Game. And guys, we've already seen some unbelievable action here tonight. And there will be plenty more to come. We know that All-Star action never disappoints. And, and you know, the fan voting is what determines the starters. Substitution on the clock. B is in at the point. Horford is out there at Greg Monroe. Then it's Paul George, and it's DeRozan in at the two. So that's the five in the game for the East All-Stars. Has to be. Puts up a three. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Well, Greg, one thing we know for sure, you know that every player who earned a spot on this roster is going to see his share of action spreading the minutes evenly. As you've always talked about, is always a top priority for these All-Star Game coaches. And you're so right, Kevin. I mean, for all the hard work these players put in to get here, I mean, each one deserves a chance, if you will, to share the spotlight. It's one of the great things about the All-Star Game. Paul outside. Aldridge is screaming. Paul dishes to Aldridge. On its way from Hayward for two. Horford with the rebound. He's with the ball. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And it's Paul penetrating, stolen by Monroe. And now the fast break, George with the ball. Good. And they're not taking their foot off the pedal. They just keep adding to their lead. Well, it's never a good idea to back off and ease up, and it doesn't look like that thought's even crossed their mind. I love it. And oh, here we go, DeRozan. Nobody back. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's B, throws down the breakaway jam. Now this is just getting ridiculous. They can't possibly keep this up. Can't remember the last time they missed one. Remarkable shooting here. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And Thompson kicks to Hayward. Aldridge with a screen on George. Hayward.